Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. It's a Monday. We have boxes, and that means it's time for another mail call. All right, so Monday mail call packages. We open them. It's what we do. It's, well, why not? I got stuff I want to share with you. Now, I'm a poet, and I didn't know it. I think you sure show it, because they're Longfellows. Yeah, weird stuff. Anyways, uh, first one up here. This is Carnivore Comics. Um, I on it. We're just going to get open it, because I don't remember. Okay, books are out, and I'm now thinking I'm vaguely recalling. Uh, yes. <laughs> I've said this before. If you're going to order stuff online, you guys got to keep... If you don't want things like this to happen, you need to track what you're ordering. Otherwise, and be careful, don't go doing things on a whim. Because otherwise, you'll do what I've done, just done. Which is, I just got a copy. This is the 1 in 50, as I recall it was, for the Transformers uh, number 11. And then this beautiful... Uh, Ryan G. Brown at Transformers 11 exclusive of Shockwave. Um, it was limited to 750. Now, if you go back, like, I think two weeks ago, you'll have seen I opened up a box with these same books that I ordered from a, potentially, it must have been from a different vendor. Anyways, because they share exclusives. Point being, that I had duplicates. Now, I'm not sad about duplicate of that at all. That is a beautiful book. Maybe not too sad about duplicate of that one, but that one may uh, find its way in the giveaway bin or something. Who knows? We'll see. But it's a dangerous thing that can happen uh, if you're not careful. Okay, this is Unknown Comics. Uh, let's see here what we got in this package. Uh, Unknown Comics. This one, I don't mind so much their packing when you order like a couple books. They use Gemini's, unlike when you order lots of books where they just pack the things like crazy uh, in bubble packing peanuts or anything else. Uh, single piece of bubble wrap, help protect the edges. Uh, order says, okay, interesting. Um, oh, but but they tape these together. Why? There's no need. Now you have to slice the tape uh, because there's no edge and pulling them apart is going to cause them to bend. So you have to be very careful slicing the tape because there's no extra space. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I uh, did get them out. Uh, what we got first up, we have uh, Batman 147. This is a 1 in 25 incentive variant. Then we got... Oh, come on. Let go. Ultimate Spider-Man number 6. This is the 1 in 25 variants. All of these were 1, one in 25 variants I picked up. I... Oh God, I almost want to, Something's telling me that I already have like two copies of this one. And uh, Ultimate Spider-Man 7, the 1 in 25 variant. And then they threw in a promotional book. Uh, this is um, a Rise of the Powers of X number 5 from David Nakayama. It was a free book that they threw in. And this will go into the giveaway bin, uh, most likely. Or Comics Carrying Cancer, one or the other. Uh, as a freebie. So there we go. Last up on this Monday mail call, uh, Samco One. Uh, so this is a site I stumbled onto. Um, I had this is where I found. If if you've watched my videos, you might remember a while back. Uh, and maybe if you didn't, it doesn't matter. Here's a recap. All you need to know. Uh, I found a. In she hulk savage she hulk number one for 30 something dollars i don't even know how i stumbled onto it uh but i saw it 
I think I was looking at some stuff on their web, on their, on eBay, saw, looked at their website, saw, cause it said like in their descriptions, things were cheaper, scrolling through things and found this Savage She-Hulk at $30. I picked it up. It was a nine, in a 9.0. Uh, and they wrote back to me saying, Hey, you know, that was a mistake. We weren't, it wasn't supposed to be posted at that price, but you know, we did it. We are honoring our price. We're going to go and take care of it. Uh, we just hope that you'll go ahead and uh, purchase again from us in the future. And I let them know. I said, well, absolutely. First of all, thank you for, you know, I, what I, I was obviously pretty much assumed it was a mistake. Uh, thank them, thanking them for being uh, stand up and uh accepting in you know not just trying to back out of the deal or cancel the cancel the order claiming oh that's all right that's out of stock <laughs> um instead they 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 stood by their commitment there and i told them hey you know what here's what's happening that 9.0 is replacing my copy my copy is going uh which was an 8.5 is going to comics carrying cancer first of all so know that in a way you're helping charity that yeah. I said, and then of course, obviously I'm going to absolutely keep an eye on your site. And so I do, I periodically go to their site and look, and I think that they have, uh, for the most part, some pretty fair pricing. Um, I think there's some prices there with everything else, you know, the way that markets change, uh, pricing fluctuates, uh, but you know, some pretty good pricing. Look at this packing. Holy cow. Um, I can tell you what. <laughs> All right, so we are back. We got the books out. Uh, they were individually wrapped in padded envelopes, which were then shrunk wrapped together, then in tons of bubble wrap, then in the box. Excellent packing. Can't thank these guys enough. Oddly enough, I got somebody else's invoice in here. So I'll tell you that somebody got a Nick Fury Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, in a high grade book for 66 bucks. <laughs> all right so my invoice is not in here but uh so first up uh this is an upgrade book for me here we go it's uh amazing spider-man 58 uh i love this cover it's not a special book even though um yeah there's nothing it's just professor spencer Smythe, the spider slayer kazar and zabu make an appearance uh, nothing special. Stanley, John Romita cover, John Romita art, Don Heck. Just, it's always been a cover I dig. Uh, so I have only had it in like in a four or five. Uh, this book, it was about like, I don't remember. Maybe it was like 50 something bucks or something. I had to grab it. Nice upgrade for me. Mine goes into the uh, comic screen cancer. And then this is a book i've been meaning to grab um look it's documented i'm not a fan of the clone stuff but i say that with a caveat i didn't mind the clone saga with ben riley so much i just despised maximum clonage and the introduction of 17 billion other clones and stuff that gone on much like i didn't mind some of the spider-verse stuff but now the con constant introduction of 800 million different spider people is just overkill and ridiculous right so it's you get an idea you don't have to milk it to death anyway so uh this is the first appearance of the spider-man clone the uh, the origin and death of the jackal in amazing spider-man 149 in a 9.0 Super happy to have that there in the PC. Had that first Ben Riley. Uh, I have a raw copy uh, that I picked up out of a mystery box recently. It's kind of a mid grade. Uh, gives me a nice reader to have in the correction, but now it gives me uh, a nice uh, collectible piece as well. So happy with that. So that's going to be it for today's mail call. You guys, let me know what you think. Uh, which of these two slabs is uh, do you like better? What, for, first, let me know just from a pure cover art. Which do you prefer? Do you prefer Spidey versus Spidey on here? Or do you like this Jonah Jameson in the armor prying through? Oh, I'm coming to get you, you menace. Sound off below. Let me know. And guys, uh, thanks again uh, for all the support to Comics Carrying Cancer. We are running up 
uh, on just a few more, a couple more weeks. Uh, September 23rd is the deadline to get your donation items into Comics Curing Cancer. So hit us up on Instagram at Comics Curing Cancer or on Facebook. Uh, if you have stuff that you'd like to donate, we'll get you all the information. And we really much appreciate Help us get the $50,000 for the American Cancer Society. And until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.